ಮೇದಿನಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿನೋದಿನಿ ನಂದಿನುತೆ ಶ್ರೀವರವಿಂದ್ಯ ಶಿರೋದಿನಿ ವಾಸಿನಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವಿಲಾಸಿನಿ ಜೇಷ್ಣು The hill states of northeast India are home to various tribal communities who share somewhat distinct cultures from their plain counterparts owing to geographical limitations but nonetheless show many similar attributes. Nagas are among these tribes and are spread out over the hills ranging from the Putkai in Arunachal Pradesh to the Beryl in Assam's Dima Haseo to the rolling hills of Manipur. There is a general misconception among many Indians that their Naga brethren are some radically different community that have little in common with them. However, this is far from true considering the region falls under a cultural continuum with some of these tribes having more Indic influence and some relatively less. This is the first article in a series that will put a special focus on some of the Naga tribes of northeast India that have come under the umbrella of Hinduism. The first of the Naga tribes that came under the purview of Hinduism were the Naktas, who inhabit the Tirup Changling belt of Arunachal Pradesh with smaller numbers in Upper Assam. The traditional Nakta pantheon comprises a vibrant list of deities called Jaban, who are largely benevolent in nature. The names of the deities vary depending upon the geographical location and dialect spoken by the individual, but some notable ones include Jo Jaban, deity of water, Dong Jaban, hill deity, and Lam Jaban, deity of paths. Priests oversee the conduct of the rituals to propitiate the deities, which may include ritual sacrifices of animals. largely chickens but can also include boars and occasionally dogs animal sacrifices are however not done on the sacred day of jama which coincides with the shakta festival of ambabachi as observed in noksa village of tira apart from following their traditional faith the nakta tribe also has a long history of professing vaishnavism the form of vaishnavism that is dominant among the nakta tribes today is kala samhadi school of eksarna nam dharma also called Mahapurushya Vaishnavism, as propagated by the 16th century Saint Srimanta Sankardeva of Assam. Its followers are called Radhi Koas, lit, night eaters, as a result of the nocturnal dietary habits of the devotees after completion of their rituals. The success of this form of Vaishnavism among the Nagas may be attributed to the liberal approach of the propagators allowing the consumption of non-vegetarian diet. Hence, it is not surprising to see Hindu naktas offering wine during ceremonies such as Hum Kamhayan, the ceremony to honor the nakta guru Naratama. Local folklore credits the adoption of this unique form of Vaishnavism among the Nagas to the influence of the Namsang king Lotha Kanbao. The valorous chieftain is believed to have had a divine epiphany where a divine being appeared in his dream. Aroused by the curiosity to find this sacred entity, He ventured out into the plains of the Brahmaputra valley accompanied by a dozen of his compatriots. He floated some bamboo tubes filled with gold coins into the Dihing river and followed its direction until it was picked up by Sri Ramadeva, the abbot of the Baragar Satra at Sasoni, Upper Assam. After undergoing a small test to examine his devotion, the guru was pleased with the sincerity of the Naga king. Thenceforth, under the spiritual guidance of Guru Rama Adha, He was initiated into the ways of Srimanta Sankardeva on the banks of the Dying River adopting the name of Naga Naratama. His fellow men would also follow him into worshiping Krishna such that by 1981, 66.82% of the Naktas in Arunachal returned themselves as Hindus. The sacred Naratam Kund stands today as a testimony of the divine grace of these two Vaishnavite saints whose waters continue to be an important pilgrimage site for its devotees. It is believed the water body was created by Sri Ramadeva when the locals of the area complained of severe water scarcity. The wise man then threw one of his karam, slippers, which pierced into the hills resulting in the creation of the spring. Since then, water has not been an issue for the inhabitants of the place and many Naktas believe that looking into the spring's waters with devotion and sincerity can result in a sight of the Guru's karam, Dutta. Naga Naratama is also reported to have penned down his philosophical thoughts into a set of texts called Bhakti Premvali. Historian Drive Parul Dutta's research on the Naktas led her to visit the Baragar Satra where she met then abbot Sri Gopal Krishna Dev Goswami who showed her an existing manuscript of the same written in the Assamese script. Her research led her to conclude that the text kept in the Satra library was a copy of an original that is otherwise lost to the sands of time. Although the Sanskrit used in the writing was unchaste, she could nonetheless decipher the text with the aid of the holy man. 
Masabda Magha Sambasabdo. Bisanda Ashtamam Premavali. Pustakam. Likestam. Translation. It is the month of Ma, 8th day of Sakha 1781. Over the last few centuries, Naktas have undergone significant acculturation with the greater Assamese society alongside their Hinduization. The Assamese village of Pantuan in Dibrugar district of Assam is a very good example of this coexistence. Situated around 30 kms away from the Nakta heartland of Tirup, the village was settled by the tribals in 1814. Even after two centuries, the people of this area continue to follow the tradition of their forefathers, having built a temple in honor of the Nakta Saint Naratam Atta. The villagers are well versed in their native Hawakan dialect, of Nakta, as well as the state's lingua franca of Assamese. Bihu, the Assamese harvest festival, is celebrated with fervor by the folks of this village just as much as their traditional festivals such as Loku. Barsharani Bora's 2015 documentary Nakta Hassong gives a small glimpse into the vibrant culture of this community and their traditions. Notably married Nakta women applying Sindor akin to other Assamese Hindu women. Nakta Digest. The vibrant Vaishnavite tradition of the Naktas has still held strong against the monumental pressure put forth by a lax administration and decades of neglect. Although the majority of their Naga brethren have yielded to Christian missionaries resulting in great loss of their traditions, Hindu Naktas still show exceptional resistance to the overtures of the Abrahamic faith unlike their converted brethren who are undergoing cultural change.